So this is Megan and Mike, and they are from Pharmacanus. So how many people smoke marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> so it, there's a lot of information that you're going to be seeing over the next couple of years on medical marijuana. And I think there's benefit to it. I've sent a couple of my patients to seek out or get approved, and we're, we have yet to see the results. But when you're hitting the wall with Vicodin, multiple muscle relaxants, um, SSRIs or Zoloft, Paxil, Prozac, and you're having all the side effects and may, it might be helping, I think this is just another option. So I'll give it to you guys. Thank you, Dr. Mike, for having us. Um, my name is Megan Shank, and I'm the clinical liaison at Pharmacanus. And this is Mike, and Mike helps with the patient application process. So both of our cards are over there if you need our assistance later. So Pharmacanus is one of the companies that was awarded licenses in the state of Illinois to open medical marijuana dispensaries and cultivation centers. And the program in Illinois is extremely strict. It's very tightly regulated, which is a good thing in the sense that all the products are quality tested, lab tested, pesticide free. Um, on the other hand, there's a problem because a lot of patients can still not get access to this medication. It's only for patients with 39 different qualifying conditions, um, but fortunately, severe fibromyalgia is on that list. So anyone who's been diagnosed with fibromyalgia can legally have access to medical marijuana in Illinois. Um, so just to give you a little background, I used to work in the pharmaceutical industry. And so I've seen the epidemic of people suffering from chronic pain and then suffering from addiction to chronic pain medications. And um, it's, it's a huge problem in our country. And uh, it really led me to this job and talking about finding a purpose. I really believe in what I'm doing. I know that this is a plant-based medicine. It's an herbal therapy. It has a lot of healing powers and um, especially in terms of symptom relief. You know, it's not going to cure anything, but it can definitely help with your symptoms. And I know from patients we've met who suffer from fibromyalgia that it does help. Um, and in terms of Eastern um, medicine, you know, this has been a Chinese medicine, one of their many herbal medications for thousands of years. It's been used in India for thousands of years. And it was actually part of the U.S. pharmacology from 19, or 18, 1850 to 1942. So physicians used to prescribe this as medication. Um, and then there was a huge, massive propaganda campaign in the US that really went to demonize it um, and call it marijuana. And really, it's called cannabis. That's the name of the plant genus. Um, so fortunately, we've come a long way. And now um, there are 25 states with legal medical marijuana laws. And it wasn't up until the 1990s that scientists actually discovered that our body has an endocannabinoid system. So we naturally produce endogenous cannabinoids, and there are phytocannabinoids in the cannabis plant. So these compounds, like THC and CBD, they bind to these receptors in your body. So your body naturally produces them, and then the plant also has these compounds. Um, so when you read about the endocannabinoid system, it's fascinating, and the scientists are trying to figure out what's the purpose because the endocannabinoid system has receptors in your brain and in your immune system, and they play a role in everything from sleep to pain sensation to hunger to memory, you name it. So really, the endocannabinoid system is all about helping your body maintain balance, helping your body stay, maintain homeostasis. And um, there's a doctor by the name of Dr. Russo who believes in a theory called an endocannabinoid deficiency, and he thinks people with fibromyalgia, MS, IBS, may be suffering from a deficiency. Um, and th the problem is, is that because it's a Schedule I drug, we can't really do large-scale clinical trials in the US because they can't get the product to study it and because they can't get the government funding. So that's why there's a lot of great research, but a lot of it's coming out of Germany and um, Spain and the UK. Um, but fortunately, they're doing more research now, especially out in California and Colorado. You've probably seen the specials with children with epilepsy moving to Colorado because they know it can help with seizures. Um, but in terms of how it can help you, um, one of the biggest things we hear from our patients is that it helps them get a better quality of sleep. It helps them sleep through the night. And so that is a huge benefit. Um, and then just in terms of pain relief, I've heard it helps with neuro neuropathic pain, lots of different types of pain. Um, and 
when you go to purchase this, so I, I'm not gonna get into how you do the application. If you're interested, Mike can help you and you can go to our pharmacannus.com website. But once you get the certification and you come to one of our um, pharmacannus dispensaries, we'll sit down with you and walk you through the process because you don't have to smoke it. You can use a vaporizer, which is basically like an inhaler, and you just breathe in, and you feel the effects almost instantaneously. You can also purchase capsules, chocolate bars, um, liquid tinctures, so you can just drop it under your tongue. It um, absorbs into your capillaries, and you'll feel those effects within 10 to 20 minutes. Um, the nice thing about something like an edible, like a chocolate bar, is the, it'll last a lot longer. So a lot of patients prefer to have those during the night, and then they sleep through the night. Um, so, you know, this is a substance that it does have side effects. It's not completely um, free of side effects, but the side effects are minor compared to a lot of traditional pharmaceuticals. Um, if you consume too much, you might have anxiety, heart palpitations, um, but if you start with a very low dose like we recommend and slowly titrate up, you will probably not feel any negative side effects. Some people do not like the euphoria or the high that's associated with the THC, and you can purchase products that are just high in CBD or cannabidiol um, and very, very low in THC. Uh, CBD has a lot of anti-inflammatory benefits. Um, I was researching before I came in today about specifically what fibromyalgia patients should benefit from, and it's a combination of THC and CBD. So that's what we would recommend. But it's really up to you. If you want something to use during the day where you don't feel any high, you could get a high CBD product. And then you could you know, choose to maybe use the THC product in the evening. Um, and unlike traditional pharmaceuticals, you know, it is an herbal product. So it's going to affect everyone. Diff I mean, pharmaceuticals affect everyone differently, but this is an herbal product. So it's gonna take some time to build up in your system for some people. So you wanna give it a few months. Um, but some people feel the benefits, you know, within a few days. Um, and Mike's actually a patient, so he uses the products. He's completely, why don't you tell him a little bit? Yeah, sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Megan, you did such a great job starting this off here. So just a little bit about my background. Um, 15 years, health, wellness. Um, you know, I, I made the switch to the industry and doing what I'm doing now because of a personal experience I had. Um, so like Dr. Rick had talked about, you know, bodybuilding back in the day, like I was one of those guys, you know, I was bodybuilding, strong, watching what I was eating, keeping my stress down, and then about three years ago I started getting pretty bad stomach pain to the point where I, I went to go see a doctor. So anybody in this room familiar with pain? <laughs> All of us, right? So, so bad stomach pains, went to the doctor and they put me on opiates. They said pain, opiates. So I followed that regimen for about a year. Um, after a year, I realized that um, I had a pretty bad opiate addiction and my stomach was 10 times worse than it was a year prior. Um, got myself off the opiates, um, got to the point where my stomach was just out of control and I was actually bedridden. So for a, almost a 45-day you know, period while they were figuring out what was going on with me, I couldn't get out of bed. Um, chronic pain, trouble sleep, I mean, you name it. All the symptoms that we experience as patients on a daily basis um, is what I was going through. Um, so they did the full work upon me and I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So Crohn's disease, um, you know, it's an autoimmune disease. It's one of the qualifying conditions. The interesting thing about the cannabis program is that with these 39 conditions that we have, everybody is experiencing similar symptoms, similar life-changing events because these are not common coughs and colds. Severe fibromyalgia, this is a life-changing event. Crohn's disease, this is a life-changing event. Um, so, you know, I, I was diagnosed with Crohn's and I was, uh, you know, faced with the decision to follow through with traditional Remicade, Humira, um, or access medical to use medical cannabis and knock on wood. It's been seven months um, medication free managing my symptoms. Um, I talk about this with Dr. Rick. I believe it to be um, an MBM approach. So what I mean by MBM is it's mind, body, and marijuana. <laughs> that, that's what it is. I mean, you know, and I saw it in the clinics. I was a patient care rep before I started doing what I do now with Megan and out educating the community. Um, the marijuana alone didn't do it. The mind work, everything that we've been talking about, you know, dealing with the mental aspect of things alone didn't do it. The exercise alone didn't do it. It's, it's the entourage effect. It's the combination of these th three things that everybody's been talking about here today. Learning to control your mind, controlling your thoughts, knowing if you're thinking in the past, knowing if you're thinking in the future or being in the present with your body, like we were talking about. And with fibromyalgia, some days it's hard enough to just get out of bed let alone get an exercise regimen in or to be stretching. 
Um, and the, the, the key thing that I found with myself is, is the cannabis or the marijuana. Like Megan was saying, the CBD products, it enables you to take your medication during the day without the psychedelic effects. And then you have the THC that you would use at times where you don't have to function as much, where it's more of a downtime, where it's a nighttime. The combination of these three things have changed my life. They, they have saved my life. Um, I was on a very health and wellness oriented path and I was derailed three years ago. You know, I, it just it derailed me. And if it wasn't for you know, the cannabis, the mind, the body, the spirit, everything that everybody's talking about here tonight, I wouldn't be standing up here talking to you right now. So just to sum up that whole tangent that I just went on, it's efficacious, it's changing people's lives, um, and that in conjunction with traditional mind, body, spirit work is the most powerful thing that I've ever experienced in my life. So, cool. And, um you know, fortunately, we're here with Dr. Rick, who's a fairly, very open-minded and not the average physician. So if you do have physicians that you're asking about medical cannabis and they're refusing to help you, um, I'd be happy to go talk to them, or we can recommend other doctors who are willing to take new patients and help them with the certification. So don't let that stop you from doing this. And um, especially if you've been diagnosed with a condition, I mean, you clearly deserve this opportunity. So, um, and back to the whole, the whole mindfulness and deep breathing aspect, it's so important, especially with dosing, because you don't know how much you need with this. And uh, a little bit can go a long way. One inhalation could be all you need. And so if you do that mindfully and sit there and feel it in your body, you might not get that high effect, but you might just feel more balanced and can go about your day. And there's a lot of people doing that now with cannabis microdosing, very small doses. And it's just a great way to improve their quality of life. So um, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. And uh, please call us if you have any questions.